What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpCentrals.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to take an already curving wall and add another curve in the other direction to it. So if you're interested in more great SketchUp tips, make sure to check out my best SketchUp tips guide at the SketchUpCentrals.com slash tips. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so I received a question the other day in my email about how you would take a curving wall and um, so like let's say for example that we had a wall that was made up of a pair of arcs kind of like this one um, so let's say it was curving this way and we were to offset that by six inches or whatever the thickness of our wall was we were just to draw lines across these edges and we were to extrude this up so let's say we had a wall like this one that kind of had um, a pair of arcs in it and it curves like this well the question I got was how would I take this wall and let's say we wanted this wall to also um, curve up and down meaning like uh, this is probably not going to work quite the way I want it to but let's say that we had this wall or this edge right here and we wanted this to curve down and then back up um, the question was how can you make it do that so, and obviously taking this edge and moving this down isn't doing what we wanted to do. But the question was, how could we take this and curve this wall in this direction as well? And you know, push-pull isn't really gonna work in that sense, like there's no way to push-pull this curved surface. And so the way that I would approach something like this is actually using the extension solid tools. And so if we were to use solid tools, what we need to do is we need to start by taking this and making it a group. So I just drag a box across it and make it a group. And you can see how this shows up as a solid, right here. Remember the way that solid tools work is it only works with objects that are complete solids. Meaning if you were to fill them up with liquid or something like that and turn them over there would be nowhere for the liquid to come out so they're completely closed in. But what I would do in this case is let's figure out what our curve needs to be. So all I would do is I would draw a line off of this edge and then draw a line across on the red axis like this. So that gives me a line that's basically aligned with the top of this face. And then what I would do is I would come in here and I would draw an arc along the blue axis to however far you wanted this to slope down. So like for example, let's say I wanted this to slope down one foot four inches. I would take that and I would um, I would draw that arc down one foot four inches. And what that's gonna allow us to do is that's gonna allow us to extrude this shape through our wall. And then I would just triple click on this, right click on it, and I would make that a group. And you can see how this is now a solid group as well. And I'm gonna make a copy of my wall real quick because I wanna show you another example in a second. But right now what we have is we have two solids that are intersecting with each other. Well, since they're both solids, Solid Tools, which is an extension that comes with SketchUp Pro, um, can be used in order to intersect these with each other and subtract material from this first phase. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use the option for subtract. And so when we use the option for subtract, what it's going to do is it's going to subtract the first model from the second model. So for this one, I would click on this face, and then I would click on this face. You can see how what that does is that subtracts everything that it intersected with that second or that first solid from the second solid. So you can see how you can use this to add a second curve to this wall. And so you could do that as well, like let's say that we wanted this to be a little bit different. Let's say we still wanted this to align, but let's say that instead of this being that same height, I'm gonna draw a line down on the blue axis, maybe to about here. And let's say we wanted this whole thing to just slope from this edge to this edge. Well, what I could do is probably what I would do in this case is I would go ahead and draw this as a rectangular face just because otherwise the inferencing gets kind of weird. Um, but I would draw a face across here and then I would draw an arc down and then I would just erase out my extra. Then I would do the same thing where I would just push pull this through this wall. I would triple click on it and then right click to make it a group. And now I would just use subtract. So I would select this as my first solid, and I would click on this as my second solid, and you can see how I can use this to make a wall that curves down along this axis as well. So you can use this to create a lot of different things once you get an idea of the way that the solids intersect. 
So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Had you thought about using solid tools like this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.